Now, if we look closely, we will see that this untreated part is very dark. That is all dirt in, on top of the ground. When we compare it with the treated part, we see that the change is very noticeable. Here, practically all the dirt has been removed. Hmm? Untreated grout, treated grout. The, this section is where I work with food and this dirt must be mostly organic matter. And the acid reacts bubbling very much with organic matter. And the truth is, I don't see any particular change in the structure of the grout. It looks perfectly healthy, although in some parts I still have bits of dirt there stuck on, so I'm going to have to give it a further treatment. Here there's some grout missing, but that may be part of a failure in the grout itself. But we can just fill it in. We clean it up there and then put some more grout to fill it in. Let's see if there's any other part where grout is missing. Here we have a bit. The grout is very firm, it's just this saccharine here that probably had a, a weakness urgently. Hmm? So we just fill that in and that's it. But most of the grout is in perfect condition. So I don't see a great damage with the hydrochloric acid. I had a sample of this same tar, so I placed a bit of hydrochloric acid every five minutes. So the longest it remained there was 20 minutes. The result shows no change at all in the enamel.